Do you know the truth of who you truly are? Or could you use a little reminder? Hey, Cece Cheney here. It's been a little while since we've had a little conversation here on Facebook Live. And I just did a fun activity and thought I would hop on really quickly and share it with you because it was valuable for me. And I thought, you know what? If I'm enjoying this, this might be something that I share with you. So um, I'm going to walk you through a really simple exercise that I did this morning just to help me get in tune with who I truly am. Hey there, Jason. Thanks for hopping on today. So I have been MIA for a little bit on Facebook uh, and I've gotten a couple of messages from you guys like, hey, where you been? Are you coming back with those lives? <laughs> I love you. I'm here for you. And of course, I'm going to continue to support you in this way. But, you know, every year right around my birthday, I had my birthday last month, but every year right around that time, I get into this really contemplative space like who am I who am I becoming where do I want to be you know I don't think of January 1st as the new year I always kind of think of my birthday as that next year in my life and so I've been in this really contemplative space and trying to decide if some of the stories that I was um, creating for myself were, were truly who I wanted to be and how I wanted to show up in the world and I've been sort of thinking about um, some of the activities that I was doing and, and was it uh, a valuable use of my time and I, was I serving in the ways that I really wanted to and all of these things so I've been in this really contemplative space and as I've been doing that um, I kind of decided that I was going to cool it a little bit on the lives until I kind of started to figure out what I wanted to do with that right like am I am I in the right space was I happy with all of that so um obviously I'm here which means that I'm <laughs> I'm back <laughs> so you know take it or leave it but I thought that this activity this morning was really fun. I was doing some personal development. It's one of the things that I'm most committed to. Part of my journaling in the morning, one of the questions is, what are you most committed to in life right now? And one of the things that I'm most committed to right in this second is my personal development, my spiritual growth, my personal growth. And I was in an, um, in an app that I use um, related to personal development. And there was an activity in there that I just happened across this morning and I loved it. I thought, you know, this would be a fun thing for me to share. This would be a fun thing for me to do. So I did it. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. So um, they call this exercise the truth exercise. <laughs> right. And so they were sort of explaining, like, when you're working on your personal development, you recognize the fact that, you know, there are old stories, there are old patterns, there are old beliefs that were no longer serving you. Right. And a, a huge part of really developing yourself is letting go of some of those those old stories, those old patterns, those old beliefs. But when you let go of them, it creates a space, a vacuum for you to add new stuff, right? For you to find out what is true and what's real, right? And so when you're letting go of these old stories, these old patterns, it's a good thing when you can go in and you can then replace them with the truth, right? And so it's not like you have to become something that you're not. Right. Sometimes we kind of forget who we really are. We have life. We have responsibilities. We have people depending on us and we forget who we truly are at a soul level. And that's what I really love about this exercise is it allows me to take some time to really think about who I truly am, what the truth is for me. And that's what you can do when you do this exercise. So. Um, so the first step in this exercise is really simple. You're going to get some sort of tool, right? You, maybe it's going to be a sheet of paper. Maybe it's going to be a journal. Maybe you're going to use a document. Um, um, maybe you'll use your cell phone for this, but basically you're going to need some place where you can write down all of the, the truths about yourself, right? So I use the note card, right? I use the note card. And the second step is you're going to list out your positive character traits, right? Uh, for when you're at your best. So you're going to take some time. And I love this activity because it's really reflective, which is the space that I'm in right now. And you're going to just write down when I'm at my best, what are the traits that I personify when I am doing the things that I love, when I'm around the people who make me happy, when I'm feeling really good. And you're just going to sort of explore what, what are you like? What is your true self like when you're in that state, right? Tony Robbins talks a lot about being in state and that's a huge part of it. When you're in state, when you're in that peak state, what, what are you truly like? Right. And so I started thinking as I was doing this exercise, some of the things that I just love doing, like when I'm doing these lives or when I'm doing an interview or, you know, when I'm teaching or training or something of that nature, what am I like in those moments? What are the traits that really, um, 
reflect who I am in that moment. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to make a list, right? And so I actually used two sheets of um, paper for this. The first was just a regular sheet of paper where I just wrote down all the traits that I could think of, right? And I would ask myself another question. Okay, well, when I'm with my family members who I just love and I'm having a great time, how am I now? Okay, when I'm working on projects that make me really excited, how am I then? You know, so you might ask yourself different, different areas of your life, different times when you're kind of on, right? What are those traits? That's step two. Right? And I want to encourage you as you're doing this activity to like dig deep, right? Because we tell ourselves lots of stories of who we are. Um, and when you start to do the work and you realize that maybe that's not the truth for you, this is an opportunity for you to, to really identify what is true. So I, I love that this particular part of this activity. Okay. Part three is to do something creative with the words. And this is something that is completely up to you. Um, one of the stories I used to tell myself was that I'm not creative. Like, I'm not a creative person. Like, I have a sister who's an actor, and that's her jam, and I'm sort of like the studious person. Um, but we, we are all creators. We are all creative. So it's up to you how you decide to create yours. I actually made mine on a little note card. I'll share it with you here. On the back, I have, it says, remember who you are. And then this side has my name in the middle. And then I just wrote out the words with different colors and different um designs that felt good to me but you could do something completely different it's completely up to you how you create this but this is the truth of who you are so you know spend a little bit of time having fun with it and making it um, feel good for you right so that's step number three and step number four is to put it somewhere that you can see it every day so if you're really artistic and maybe you want to hang it on your wall and it's something you can look at every day i put mine on a note card on purpose because it's something that's portable for me so i can stick it in my journal and i can take it with me because i take my journal everywhere i go you know i can have it on my desk and i can look at it and i can remember whether you know how i'm feeling now is the truth of who i am right or whether that is who i used to be and who what the stories that i've let go of so that's why i think it's a really beautiful exercises that you have the ability to kind of look at it and go, is that the truth of who I am? And if it's not the truth of who you are, you can let go of that and you can take a look at, this is what is true of me. I mean, I love it. I love this exercise. So let me know if you decide to do it. I would love to hear how you make it creative, like how you turn the words beautiful and, and all that for yourself. Now, having absolutely nothing to do with that, I wanted to take a quick second and say thank you to all of the humans who signed up for our How to Transition to a Plant-Based Diet course. Puppy and I got together and we we just sort of started brainstorming on how we could serve more people in that way because uh, we get asked all the time about tips and advice and help for helping people to transition. So we created something that you could use, um, that you'd have access to, that you could have all of our best tips and advice as well as advice from some experts and everyday people uh, who've gone through this transition. So um, if you've not checked it out, be sure to check it out. It's incredible. If you know somebody who's trying to transition to a plant-based site and they're feeling lost or confused, um, go ahead. I'll drop the link for you down in the comments so you can check that out. Otherwise, uh, I look forward to chatting with you soon. Ciao.